This video covers the usage of a laparoscopic morselation bag during a laparoscopic supracervical hysterectomy. The patient, a 44-year-old female, underwent a laparoscopic supracervical hysterectomy, and here you can see the cervix is being amputated from the uterus with the harmonic hook. Bleeding is well controlled, and there is no spillage of any tissue. Traction is applied after hemostasis is obtained. You can see that the uterine artery on the left is well secured and sealed. There is a uterine manipulator present and care must be taken not to transect this manipulator. Now the manipulator can be visualized and transection continues from the opposite side. Care is taken to make sure that you stay in the same track in order to prevent the staircase effect. Once the cervix is separated, we like to leave the uterus on the manipulator until the pouch is brought in. Now complete separation occurs. The 15 millimeter trocar is utilized to assist in inserting the endofield bag. The bag is gently brought in. We exclusively use atraumatic graspers now, such as Omnicroci clamps, hunters, or Dorsey graspers. Now the bag is brought in completely. The metal railings on the side allow the bag to remain open. Steri strips at the base of the bag orient the surgeon. Now you can see I'm using an alligator grasper and an Omnicroci Dorsey grasper. Now the bag is completely open, gently not to tear the plastic. You can see the steri strip indicating the inside of the bag. Once the bag is completely opened, you can realize the extent of the bag coverage by looking upwards toward the liver. Now you can see that the bag covers a great portion of the abdomen and also the pelvis. Now the uterus is removed from the manipulator. The manipulator is brought out of the cervix as to not puncture the bag. The bag will then be elevated upwards. You can suture the bag, you can attach the bag, you can clamp the bag if you want to to keep it elevated. We've also added tabs at this point to hold the bag up. Now with careful morselation, the morselator is brought over and into the bag. The bowel is nicely protected as well as the omentum. It's important that the assistant grab and grasp the uterus to keep it from moving during the morselation process. If the uterus is allowed to spin freely, then tissue could be shot into the upper abdominal cavity. Now you can see careful slow morselation is occurring with control of the tissue. The tissue falls into the bag. Small bites are taken. The uterus is held by the assistant and all attempts are made to stay below the blue line. As you can see in this video 360 degrees I can see around my morselator tip so that I will not pick up any bowel. Plus the plastic bag helps keep the bowel out of the reach of the grasper. Of course any surgeon can grab the bag but this is part of technique and good surgical technique. Now with the smaller pieces you try to pull them through without spinning. If you need to turn on the Morse later to adjust momentarily. At the end we will suction all the fluid, pick up all the different pieces even though it's inside a bag. Now you can see that small pieces have uh, eventually fallen and they are contained inside the bag. This is an excellent grasper, the one with the alligator teeth for removing tissue because it scoops up some of the tissue inside the scoop. Now a suction is carefully utilized to remove any debris that can possibly be removed. Gentle surgical technique is always recommended. Now the bag will be grasped at one of the knot ends and brought out. It is important not to flip the bag over during the procedure, keeping the bag upright at all times. Once again, atraumatic grasper is utilized. A 15 millimeter hole is the minimum that we have seen and recommended to be effective in removing the bag intact. Now the other surgeon or assistant guides the bag to keep it from flipping over and is brought out. As you can see the pelvis is quite clean. Any residual blood is trapped inside the bag and will be brought out with the bag. 
Now the pelvis is inspected. There's some slight oozing at the place of the uterine artery on the right side. This is easily handed with, handled with a hemostatic agent such as snow. You can gently place that there. We try to avoid cautery in these regions as much as possible to prevent any damage to the underlying ureter. Thank you.